New this morning, one of the men accused of assaulting two members of the NYPD in Times Square back in court. The NYPD says they believe he is one of 13 suspects involved in the attack. CBS News' Lisa Rosner live outside Manhattan Criminal Court with more of this news. Lisa. Chris, we're still waiting for his court appearance, but this is the only suspect that was held on Rikers Island on $15,000 bail. Also happening today, the DA is expected to present evidence to a grand jury that could lead to indictments for him and additional suspects in the case. The Manhattan District Attorney says the man in the yellow seen fighting with the NYPD as they try to apprehend him is 24-year-old Yohenry Brito. For almost a week, he's been held on $15,000 cash bail for the Times Square assault. The DA said he was previously convicted of disorderly conduct and there was a bench warrant for his arrest in two open cases. Five others that were charged have been released and most of them, police sources say, boarded a bus toward Mexico. Governor Hochul Tuesday expressed disappointment on MSNBC that they were released on their own recognizance. That was an, abhor an abhorrent act, and anyone who thinks they should have been let loose, I have a big disagreement with. They number of them, we think, went on a bus. Uh, they were freed because no bail was posted. I worked hard to change the bail laws in New York State. Those crimes were bail eligible. Hochul striking a much different tone than Mayor Adams, who Monday backed up the DA's decision not to request bail. You can easily, uh, you know, bring someone to justice, but you have to complete the task of making sure you have, the evidence is right to, to, so they can be held accountable for the action. The NYPD's chief of detectives says the investigation is ongoing. We believe some of the people that participated in that may have gang ties to Venezuela. That's based on social media, some tattoos, and some statements that were made while they were in our custody. Immigrant advocacy groups have been calling on the NYPD to release body camera video from the assault. In a statement, Make the Road New York says all New Yorkers deserve due process regardless of their zip code, race, or when they arrived here. It is deeply irresponsible for anyone to use one incident to vilify immigrant communities and try to roll back common sense policies that have kept New Yorkers safe. The NYPD has not said if it will release body camera footage in this case. The next court date for most of the other suspects is February 20th. We're live outside Manhattan Criminal Court. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Okay, Lisa, thank you.